All right, so the number one thing that a home seller wants is they want you to market their home. And they said, I specifically want you to market my home to buyers. Is that a surprise? No. So when, when you're talking to a home seller or you're doing any type of communication or you're writing to them or you're on the phone, the number one thing that a home seller is going to want is they're going to want you to market their home to buyers. So how could you use that language? Somebody give me a sentence about how you could say, I market homes to buyers. Number one, the most successful plan to market your home to buyers. Yeah, that's great. that's great, and I would be more specific. Okay. So, it, because because speci it. because that's a little bit general. Like yes. we're number one without speci specificity. Yeah. How do we do it? So the process would would add legitimacy to it, or numbers and stats would add legitimacy to it. So you could say some specific numbers about how we market homes to buyers. Is this year we found over five we found over five hundred home sellers buyers for their homes. And how we do that is every single week we have over 200 home buyers that we get to contact us who are looking for a home. So, you know, if you look at that over the course of a month, that means we have over 800 home buyers that we're we're talking with. And if you look at that over the course of the year, we've got over 7,000 home buyers that we're talking with. To put those numbers into perspective for you, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, there's only 14,000 sales the whole year. And we're talking to 7,000 buyers a year. So there's not going to be a company that knows how to market your home to more buyers than our company. Did you see how those numbers, which are real, add power and legitimacy to your statement? 